I think in the old days, when we launched Mabel, we were kind of at the forefront of psychedelic flower power music. So we did create some sounds amongst other people. It wasn't just us, obviously. Some great acts around that time. So it's nice to kind of take a flavor of the past, but then bring it into the 21st century. And for me, that's really what I want to do because I, I'm writing a lot of new material and to bring the Mabel Greer sound but into the 21st century and up it a bit and make it more exciting. And also one of the things we like to do is not just have one genre of music. I like to play different styles. So it's really, I would describe the new Mabel Greer's toy shop as psychedelic fusion. So it's psychedelic from the old days but it brings in a bit of Eastern music, a bit of Balkan music, a bit of country music, a bit of everything and throws it into one. So for the listener, it might be an interesting experience. I definitely, if we get an audience, and I hope we do get an audience of more than one, um, they'll see that the sounds are different and we'll get different, a different kind of audience. There'll be different kind of people who like different kinds of music. So I think that's probably one of the unusual things we have is that the music's going to be very varied and there'll be a lot of surprises in there. So it keeps it interesting because listening to the same old stuff, certainly for me, it's not where it's at anymore. So Mabel's coming along with some great new stuff, so I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> 